Excuse me, would you be interested in a free coffee? Well, that's a great question. There's this house that I grew up in, it was like built around a tree, so we called it the tree house. What is your name and where are you from? Hi, I'm Jen, I'm from Vancouver, Canada. Megan, and I'm from Manoa. My name is Shane Yonimura, I'm from town area. My government name is Boaz. I'm originally from Israel. Zach Hobart, I am from El Paso, Texas. Casey, I'm from Canada. Since you're from somewhere else, you've been here a year, would you stay in Hawaii? I've been thinking about that a lot lately. I want to be able to run around. I want to have a dog. Yeah, you said McKinley grad, yeah, right? Yeah, I'm so. a McKinley grad, so well, I still live with... Um, well, kind of personal. Are you starting? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you could own a house yeah. anywhere in Hawaii, own a spot anywhere on this island, like what kind of place, where would it be and why? Well, that's a great question. That's that a question my girlfriend is always asking me. Where are we getting our house? I actually haven't had a lot of time to think about that, but if I, if money was no object. Not an object. If I didn't have to work and I could just, it would definitely be somewhere in the country. Probably, you know, Pupukea, hey. like right on the beach over there, you know, you near Pipeline. Yeah. Like, or the cliff? On, I mean, up, the cliff would be dope, Pupukea. Above food land or like? I mean, I was Shark's thinking Cove? Pupukea, like the surf. Oh, bridge. the surf spot Pupukea. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rocky Point. Rocky Point. Maybe not like right central pipeline kind. Leave that for the true surfers. All the Groms can can hang out over there. But come down a little bit away from all the action. Just a spot I can grab my board, wake up in the morning, go surf, be chill. Culture it's the vibes, there. man. I will miss town. That's a problem though. Yeah. I, I do like town vibe. So you wouldn't do like a penthouse up there, like a $5 million condo overlooking everything? The view would be dope, but I do like to have my feet on the ground. I like yeah. to just walk out and the street is right over there. I like the house vibes, you know, backyard. I want to be able to run around. I want to have a dog, you know what I mean? Play fetch with my dog in my backyard with the kids, you know, if there's okay. going to be kids. Okay. Now we're building my future in my yeah. mind, dude. The interviewing part's not that bad. It's the like... It's the, the facing the rejection, the possible like, no, I don't want to talk to you. Like, okay. I'd have to say Manoa. There's this house that I grew up in. It was like built around a tree. So we called it the tree house. Wow. And I so wish I could Manoa. have moved back. Yeah. And I just love the valley there. So back yeah. in the valley. Yeah. Not like by Safeway. No, like You're deeper like... in. Yeah. Past the cemetery. Oh, yeah. I love that place. Mm -hmm. Have you been up there? Past the cemetery? Where the cemetery is? Yeah. It's so beautiful up there. Yeah. We did a Manoa video on this channel and I was like, quaint, old. Like I was trying to come up with words to articulate Manoa because it's really different than anything else on the island, yeah? Yeah. How do you, how would you describe it? It's like where old people live. <laughs> <laughs> I'm probably like the only one my age in the neighborhood I live in. Okay. So I lived on um, one side of the valley and then now I live on the other side. So I got to see both sides of the valley. It's just like consistently old people and dogs. It's peaceful and you wake up to like the parrots and the chickens mm -hmm. and everyone just gets along and talks to each other. You don't realize it's only a couple miles from here. Yeah. It's like really wet if back in the valley compared to like right here, yeah? yeah. Like you said, more mature. But there's a character like homes with chimneys. Yeah. Front yards that are big. Like yeah. if you go ever, the front yards aren't like that, right? Mm -hmm. or in Washington, have you ever been to like Skagit? Or like Levensworth or... Yeah, I've been I mean, to Levensworth. It's yeah. not Levensworth, but there's like a character, right? Yeah, like my grandma likes to compare it to Gig Harbor. It's just like where like more settled down people are. Mm -hmm. There's not like a lot of college people or anything like that. And it's just But like, then it's where UH is. So it is yeah. a lot of college people, but they're not but owning like, the houses. Yeah, they're, yeah, they're like um, at the bottom. And then like in the back, that's where like there's like old families so there's yeah. multiple generations families who there. stay there forever yeah. families who like keep the house in the family forever. yeah exactly honestly there's a property right by hawaii Law ridge it's right next to that park yeah okay. kind of a big property that's a nice property it's kind of near the ocean you know everybody likes the ocean hang close to the ocean killer views yeah and then but there's this one property next to that park at the bottom that's okay. a really nice property Okay. It's probably like a, I don't know, acre, acre and a half. Something modern, maybe a like one story. Maybe the kind with all glass, so you can see the view. Ooh, like that modern yeah, well, at least, it, at least so, you know, nighttime, people kind of see inside, maybe. Mm. Oh, you're uh, rich, so you're going to have to just hit a button. Yeah, and yeah, okay, down. sounds yeah. great, sounds great. Some kind of modern house where I would be able to have some, like, separate space for my family. Not uh, my immediate family, like, 
my like mom. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, uh, clarify to the wanna, wife. We're not uh, trying to. Wanna, yeah, not trying to <laughs> dig out on my wife. I'm pretty sure she'll kick me out of my house. Money's not an issue. Does it have to be Oahu? No. no. Could be mm. somewhere else. Well, Maui's my favorite, so Maui. I probably go Maui. I don't know. I like Kauai too, though. I probably. I don't know. I like Oahu because it's big city. Okay. Maui's kind of like a good in between. But Kauai is really nice. Yeah, go, so, go. I don't know. That's a tough question. Tough question. That's a good one. That's a good question. I guess if I was to say Oahu, I was just telling this guy, I'd really like to stay in Kaka'ako just because it's nice. I'm a big fan of art and it's the arts district. So yeah. I really love this area yeah. specifically. So Oahu, I'd probably say here in Kaka'ako. Yeah, Ocean okay. View. Okay. Walk around in this uh, shopping center. Good place to get avocado toast. <laughs> Avocados. And it's a delicacy these days. Fair trade coffee, right? Exactly. Just yep. Yep. Ma, you got Mahi's tattoos and vibes. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah. I like your tattoos. That's cool. What is your name and where are you from? Hi, I'm Jen. I'm from Vancouver, Canada. From Vancouver? Yeah. I would thought local vibe. I like. thought local. I, yeah, I, it's yeah. been a Ta year. Yeah. I caught up with the sun. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, I'm going to add a question. How would you end up in Hawaii? Um, it was a work opportunity. They asked to relocate me here. So how long have you been here? Almost a year now. If you could have a place, a house, anywhere here, where would it be? What kind of spot and why? Somewhere around Manoa, Kahala, one of the two neighborhoods. Manoa or Kahala, which one? I think Manoa. Manoa? Yeah. We had another, she's from Manoa and gave us Manoa earlier. Why Manoa? Okay. Um, I would just say the real estate from driving through just has some age to it, good character, good heritage. Yeah. Not something that I no cookie cutter. dream of looking for. Yes, no cookie cutter, all redone. Okay. Want to eat a little bit of your latte? No, go ahead. I'll, I'll wait, I'll wait. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. i probably be right on Lanakai Beach, like on the okay. coast, mm -hmm. uh, just facing the ocean. Mm -hmm. What kind of house? Uh, I don't know, some sort of mansion, like something really big with resale value. Mm -hmm. Like a glass house would be nice, you know, with yeah, like yeah. automated shade, shading mm -hmm. windows. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, okay. something like that. Go big. Go big, Go big. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Last question, why Hawaii? Like, why do you live in Hawaii? You're obviously well-traveled. Why here? Originally, uh, being from Israel and considering how much BS and craziness happens there, you know what I mean? And then I lived in London for like four and a half years, which has been like the center of of like nightlife and all that commotion and i lived in china i've been to like africa all over europe all over the united states hawaii is the best place in the world because we have a little bit of everything we have we're right here nature is right here we have the oceans we got the mountains we got the great weather beautiful beautiful culture which is centered around community and family and love Aloha which is aloha, yeah. pretty much. It's like you don't get that anywhere else. And so automatically, I'm drawn to it. Automatically, I want to do what I can, especially as being like, you know, a malahini or, you know, a haole or hey, someone from outside. Okay. You know, I'm automatically, I'm drawn to it, but I want to put do my part to add to it. So you've lived on the mainland. Yeah. Why Hawaii? Um, so family for the main reason. The mainland, it's nice. I lived on the West Coast, which is probably like the best Coast. We just had the Super Bowl show. <laughs> it just feels like more home here for me. The weather is better, I would say. Like, I'm happier here because, yeah. you know, seasonal depression is huge in Washington. Ever since I moved back here, um, my uncle's friends that didn't know me when I was little, like, they just took me in and they act like they've raised me since I was young and stuff. Would you say they're, like, even, like, protective over yeah, you in a definitely. way? Yeah, definitely. In Washington, yeah. like, I called every one of my uncles and aunties, and they, like, they thought I was super friendly up there because they're not used to that. It's always Mr. and Mrs. Uh -huh. yeah, so yeah. that's why, like, a lot of them liked me because I was just, like, they just thought I was, like, this outgoing person, but that's just how it is here. Yeah. For you, I mean, you're local from Hawaii. You have all that money or whatever. Why not go mainland? It's or? plain and simple. It's just the way we grew up. The, the culture is here. I mean, you can take the culture anywhere else, but it's here is where everybody else shares the same culture, and they understand you. I don't have to look at somebody and be like, you know, oh, is this guy eyeing me out? I can just kind of nod my head and he knows I'm telling him, hey, what's up, how you doing? Or you know if they're eyeing you out, because yeah, we all understand the etiquette, like, yeah. like eye this contact. means something than yes, this. Yes, and, yes, oh, yeah. yes, it's, it's a very universal language. It's not spoken everywhere, but here yeah. is probably the place that everyone understands each other and they know you treat everybody with respect and you get respect. You don't have to stick your shoulders out, puff, puff your chest out. Mm -hmm. Everybody gives that mutual respect until you lose it. You lead, yeah, you lead with yeah, respect. Yeah. No, you not always too much. give it to them, and yeah. then they have to lose it. So it's up to well, them. But, yeah, if yeah. they lose my respect, then they get treated a certain way. But right, right. everybody gets the same respect. Well, with Hawaii's aloha, like the average of respect is just higher than, the, than other places. Which I say is, so because, yeah, I mean, yeah. 
we might be related, you know what I mean? Yeah, so yeah, like, yeah. Guarantee uh, you know somebody I know. Guy. Like, you know Drew Yamamoto? Yes. You know Sean Ball? Yes. Yes, yeah, see? So, yes. so we, we all have friends in common. Yeah, yeah. And we treat each other, each other accordingly because the chance that you might be related to somebody that I know. Why Hawaii? Or would you even stay in Hawaii since you're from somewhere else? You've been here a year. Would you stay in Hawaii? I've been thinking about that a lot lately. It would be so silly to leave without a good reason. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think a lot of people come here with this idea of um, finding themselves. At least that's what I've kind of noticed from the people I've met so far. A lot mm -hmm. of self-discovery to happen, but mm -hmm. uh, the weather helps. The sun helps. Yeah. I would say between the people that are born and raised here and the people I've met here that have moved here, I think just the environment and the culture out here has just changed so many people. It just brings out a lot more joy in people. More genuine connections. They learn aloha. That's they learn aloha? Yeah. yeah. I mean, you moved in the middle of a pandemic. That's true. Why? I, well, maybe why? not. Let's just do, why did you even move here? It's just, it's nice to slow down every now and then. Okay. Things just get busy, you know? Things are busy here. It's not to say that, you know, life is life no matter where you are, but it's nice. My family's here, so I get to go hang out with cousins and weekends are just so nice. Yeah. It's just, it's just, yeah, slower. Correct me if I'm wrong. Am I hearing that Hawaii, with its aloha, mm -hmm. is able to keep a small town feel even though Oahu is a big city? Absolutely. I would yeah. say so. Yeah, I'd yeah. say so. Especially if you find little pockets. Like, my family's from uh, the Waianae Coast, yeah? Oh, so okay. when I go, when I go all the way out there, it's very isolated, you know? Mm -hmm. So it's nice. You find pockets everywhere, especially here. Oh, Different, yeah. Like in Y and I though, it's like someone's gonna make you a plate of food, right? Absolutely, eat, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Everybody in the street, they're like, "Oh, how's it? You wanna come eat?" And yeah. you hear the music, you just walk around. You're like, "Uncle, what's happening?" And they're like, "Oh, come, come eat." You yeah, hungry? What, boy? Exactly. Boy, you hungry? Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Boy, what boy, what's your like drink? Yeah. Exactly. I was. I, I remember. I moved here. My grandpa stays in Makaha. Okay. And then the first month that I was there, everybody had to tell me a story about all of my uncles. Oh yeah. They're like, "Oh, we know him. We know him. We know uh -huh. him. We know him." And I'm like, "Oh my gosh, I don't know if I should hear all these stories." Like, okay. Goes to with what you were saying, small town vibe with a lot of people. Hawaii by way of San Francisco and Canada. Yeah, by Hawaii. The weather, it's a beautiful island. I love playing volleyball, I love the beach. Mm -hmm. uh, I've been volleyball the... culture is huge here, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So mm -hmm. every Tuesday and Thursdays, I'm out there playing. People, the food, it's, mm -hmm. a, it's a great place to be. Yeah, thank, thank you, you. Thank we you appreciate your time. Yeah, and no then... worries. I didn't even catch your guys' name. I'm Mahe. Mahe? Mahe. And I'm Derek. Derek, yes. nice to meet you both. Nice meeting you. Thanks yeah. for thank having you. me. Thank you. Nice and then what do you want at Arbo? Thank you. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Sorry, no, good. thank you. Iced coffee? No, no, we're good. Thank you. Well, thank you. Egg, egg toast. Oh, I appreciate thank it. you for your time, brother. Thank you, guys. Beautiful. I appreciate you guys. Yeah, for sure. Nice meeting you. Mama. Awesome. Thank you. That's beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Megan. Yeah, thank you. It's good right. meeting you. Good luck on everything. We have a top open, so we'll... Uh, Sure. Yeah, yeah. Uh, whatever you like. No, 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 no. You go tell me. You go you go. Thanks for blessing us. Absolutely. Thank, Thank you, brother. You. Yeah. Thank you so Thank much. You. Nice Thank meeting you. you. It was nice to meet you. We do a YouTube channel. We, you want to answer a few questions and we'll hook you up with an Arvo it's, coffee? So what we'd ask is, what's your name? Where are you from? If you could have a house anywhere, where would it be and why? And then why Hawaii? Like, why do you like Hawaii? <laughs> it's it's totally unscripted. Everything yeah. we do is totally unscripted. Like, yeah. Sometimes it's, I'm tripping and Don't falling. even worry. Just easy. I don't even 